Howdy folks, Desert Horizons, AZ Off-Grid Unplugged, the RV. This is uh, uh, my new solar po panel power board, and I, uh, <laughs> not very accurately, but I cut to fit, you can see it up there, and it goes up in here, so if I ever, if these screws ever come loose and I'm driving around a corner, it won't fall more than like three inches. And this is not going anywhere down here, so I don't have to worry about that. Still got my window. No. And it's at 20 after 8 in the morning. And generating 460 some watts. 132 volts. So this is the, uh, this, the, the, the circuit breaker on the right. It's the baby thing. That's my hand right on it. So that's, I'll give you an idea how big it is. But those are the cables coming in from the solar panels. Going up to the charge controller. Those are the, the cables going from the charge controller down to the batteries. Straight down. And then these are the cables that go down to the battery from the inverter. And keep our fuse. And I got it all... Grounded to the chassis right now. Bus barred. Both of those things got are grounded to the same wire. So, but that's the inside. That's the that was the hard part. <laughs> Getting all this stuff in the box, and it's like, okay, how does it go together? Which one goes where? No instructions, no nothing. That's you know, I think they could much improve on that. Got all this stuff, everything except the inverter. From Missouri Wind and Solar. Uh, Sam Buffington was the salesman. Very helpful. Um, all right. Let's see. I'll... I'm not going to show you the inside of the RV. It's still too messy. But that's the, uh, and that's where I sit. There's the table using the TV and all that stuff. There's all my panels. All eight of them that I'm going to have hooked up here. Yep, no sh sh shadows on any of them, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, so right now it's generating 460 watts. It's only 20 after 8 in the morning. That's not bad. <sighs> Hopefully it'll pick up. And if absolutely 100% necessary, I do have one more panel there. I was going to hook up to the coach batteries with its own uh, charge controller, a 30 amp PWM or whatever they are, charge controller. And I was going to, uh, like I said, hook up to the coach batteries because those are the ones that operate, that's the one that operates the uh, the inside lights, the water pump, you know, stuff like that. So I'll still, I still want to keep that battery charged up. And then the other four batteries are, let's see, where am I pointing? There we go, right there and there. Uh, I now moved them over to that side because the cables weren't quite long enough. Six foot cables weren't quite long enough. So, but this is uh, my first morning at the, the new residence, the official new residence. And that's the uh, awning I got done yesterday. Yeah, what I got done of it yesterday. And I was thinking down here at the end, just put one of those lattice panels. Like that would work, I think, I think, I think. Make people wonder what the hell is going on when they pull up and they see this antenna here. It's like, oh, okay, maybe. Mm -hmm. 